All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another hashtag United vlog. As you know, when we start a vlog in the airport, it's always a good sign. It means hashtag United are going away. We've had a few away trips already, obviously Northern Ireland. We took you along with us. The USA for the Coca-Cola US tour. So we've done Ireland. We've done the America. What would be the logical next location? I know what you're thinking. Serbia. So we're going to Serbia. Okay, uh, our uh, favourite computer game in the world, Top 11, also our sponsors, complete coincidence. Um, they have put together an unbelievable trip for us. Um, the guys who make Top 11 are called Nordius, based in Serbia in Belgrade. So we're going to Belgrade for this game against Nordius. It's actually a must win game as well, coincidentally. It's the final game for us in Division 2. We have to win it or else we're not in Division 1, we've got to do Division 2 again, which will be a real shame. There's a bit of pressure on us, but if we have a win, we'll have an unbelievable night out in Serbia, Belgrade, everyone's going to love it. See some of the boys we've got with us already. We've got Charlie Morley, Paul Nash Fax, Stevie CB, LP, Lewis obviously injured, not playing, always injured. And of course, new signing, Jamel is making his debut from the academy process. He didn't win it but he's in the squad before anyone else from the academy, so he's a real winner, some would say. Fair play, we need to see how Jamel gets on in his debut. Theo Baker here as well, they're doing some vlogging. I'm just saying, how you doing? Vlog city, I don't know what's going on. It's vlog right now, so we're, we're all here just... Can we just appreciate how important this game is, by the way? Mate, it's a massive game. It's a must win. Jamel's debut is our cup final, basically. It's the biggest game. No pressure, just... Is this the biggest game of your life? Yeah, because I think the entire world's gonna be watching, aren't they? So, yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. It's a big game. It's a big, big game. We've got to win, guys. Are we going to win, Stevie? We don't use the L word in hashtag, so it's a win, win, win. Nice. It's the Adams family. All right? Ready? How's your shoulder? Good. <laughs> your face. More reinforcements have arrived. Sammy Ecott. Jack Harrison's turned up. Very nice of him to, to come. Sondi Dondi. Rob Dog. Doing the dab handshake. Oh, God. Right, we're just boarding the plane now. How are you about flying? I'm good, mate. I'm fine. Really? Yeah. I, I, I bloody watched Sully last night. Oh, yeah. Worst film to watch when you're just about to get on a plane, by the way. Yeah. Um, we're on the plane, and I'm sitting next to... <laughs> and we got Mr. Bill. <laughs> in the back. Hashtag Fuller. Have we got seven no goals? <laughs> Serbs now. That's the nickname for Serbia. We are on the Nordius, aka Top 11 party bus, I'm going to call it. We're about to get taken to the hotel. We've got a cheeky goodie bag. Eh? We've got chocolates. We've got drinks bottles. We've got. Hang on a second. At least we're worried about the voucher. This is cool little mouse, Matt. I rate that. Okay guys, we just uh, checked into our hotel here in Belgrade. I've got some good news, I've got some bad news. The good news is the hotel room is lovely here uh, in the Marriott in Belgrade. Beautiful, me and Seb are sharing a room. Everyone shares rooms on the hashtag tour. Good for bonding. Um, so that's good news, right? As you can see, it's all very above board. I haven't looked in the bathroom yet, but it looks decent. It is decent. The bad news is, two of the lads, uh, we're coming out later on a different flight. That is Andy Jeff Swats, the goalkeeper, and Tom the Trench, the Jepson. Their flight has been cancelled. Now, we're trying very hard to find a new flight for them. We kick off at 10 a.m. tomorrow. It's about half 5 p.m. in Serbia now. There's only one flight 
apparently they can get. It involves connecting flight in Istanbul and it will get them here at 8 a.m. in the morning. We kick off at 10. It will involve a five hour wait over in Istanbul. Basically, they won't get any sleep. Now TJ could probably do a job outfield with no sleep, but can your goalkeeper play with no sleep? We haven't got a sub goalkeeper with us, no Jacko on this trip. Either we've got to put one of the other lads in goal, maybe Charlie Morley, who can do a job, but he's much better outfield, he's quality outfield, and we've got a good goalkeeper in Andy, but you know, we don't know if we, he's gonna be in the shape to play. He's gonna come, he's gonna do the travel anyway. That's the la 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 last I heard of it, is that he's gonna make the effort and come overnight. But I don't know what sort of shape he'll be in, guys. It's worrying, because it's a must win game. Like I said, we have to win it. The last thing we needed is some sort of hiccup like this. The Serbia guys, like the, the guys from uh, Nordius are offering to try and find a local Serbian goalkeeper for us, which is cool. And I appreciate that effort, but I want to do it with our squad, do you know what I mean? Like, we put out together our squad. If Andy can't play, I can't make it out here. I'd rather play with one of our boys in goal. I mean, I'd go in goal, I don't mind going in goal, but I'm not great. I'm not very good. Charlie's definitely a better shot stopper. Jack Harrison says he's okay. I mean, it's going to be interesting, guys. He's made the game potentially even harder to win now. I know they've got two ex-pros playing. They've got someone who used to play for Spurs. 60 odd games for Spurs. And for uh, Yugoslavia, he's a centre back. And they've got uh, uh, an old winger who uh, used to play for Liverpool. And played like 40 odd games for Serbia. 11 goals for Serbia as well. So they've got some decent players. We might have a keeper. I'll keep you updated on the situation. But right now, I'm worried. The hashtag lads are roaming the streets of Belgrade. Yes, boys. No excuse not to be hydrated, guys. We've got a water fountain. Middle of this town. I think it brings you good luck. How is it? Is it high quality H2O? High quality H2O. You can take the man out of Essex. <laughs> oh, no, this girl's behind. Let's just go. Let's go. <laughs> He's off. That's the fastest I've ever seen him run. Watch out, Lou. You do your ankle. He's going to get injured. That is where Novak Djokovic learned how to play tennis. That's probably not true, but it definitely could be. Bit, a, bit, a bit of clay, bit of clay action. It's a bit of clay action. Your shirt matches it, mate. We're camouflaged right now. Where's Lewis gone? What's going on here, then? Why is there dinosaurs in, in, in Serbia? It's just the um... I'm not sure about this cage, I'm not sure if it's high enough to stop these bloody <laughs> T-Rexes. Oh, is that to scale? I don't think that's to scale, that brontosaurus looks a bit small. That's a T-Rex. Yeah, that brontosaurus looks a bit small to me. Is that a T-Rex to scale? Oh, it's a brontosaurus. It's a brontosaurus. Oh, mate, Lou, you're actually a joke. Decent dinosaur action. More sports facilities. You know I love a sports facility. I think Serbia are quite good at basketball, actually. There's some basketball courts. It's all surrounded by this old sort of castle as well, which is quite a nice touch. Decent surroundings for some sport. I just I challenged Theo to see if he can jump this bush. If he gets injured and misses tomorrow's game, it's not my fault. He did that with a bit of panache, to be fair, and he ended with a hash dab. That is a, an eight for jump, but a ten for the landing. Are you guys ready to see a bunch of absolute weapons? You go bear artillery. Decent though, to be fair. Look at this. This is a bit of Serbia, isn't it? A bit nicer, isn't it? I'm thinking that's where we're going. Is uh, tomorrow night, one of those. Is that a water feature? That is a water feature if I've ever seen one. Not bad view. Welcome to Serbia. The question is, where's the rest of the gang? Because we've lost half of them. Stevie CB never forgets to hashtag it. Last scenic picture of the night before we get some food. Just got to enjoy it. Come to some of these far out places, places you wouldn't normally go. Sometimes they surprise you. And right now, Serbia is surprising me pleasantly. He loves it. Right, we're getting some food. Dan Brown has just ordered uh, the, the, what's it, the arse ripper? The arse ripper. Is that a type of chilli? Yeah, it's basically the hottest one here. Yeah. So basically, Dan loves hot food so much. What do you bring with you everywhere you go? I bring fresh green chilies. Is this the secret to Dan Brown's success? <laughs> Dan Brown is literally on fire. Dan. Everywhere you go. <laughs> Dan. And, our, and their Serbian defence is terrified. When did you first start <laughs> eating chilies? Chilies per se, I don't know. Curry, like curry, when I was like four, three or four. Do you, that's do you order a chicken fowl on the regs? Um, oh, yeah. no, 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 regs have been delivered. So what was the first time you bought, you bought a chili yeah. away yeah. with you? Uh, probably Magaluf 2002. Oh, <laughs> Good trip. Good How trip. Uh, about 30. About 40 of that was. <laughs> Well guys, there you go, Chelsea have won the Premier League, it's been confirmed with a 1-0 win over West Brom, but 
there's a much bigger game happening in Serbia tomorrow in about 10 hours. Hashtag United, taking on Nordius. If we win, we win our division. We go up to Division 1. It's the closest thing to a cup final we're going to have. We're going to bed now to get some sleep so we can play the big games. Where's the Nash already? A lot of the boys have already gone back to the hotel to be fair to get, get some sleep because no one wants to have another loss. If we lose tomorrow, it'll be three games in a row we've lost. We can't have that. We cannot have that. Unheard of. And even if we draw, we won't go up to Division 1. So, boys, what do we have to do? We have win. to win. win. Big win. Are we going to win? Non negotiable. Yes, we are going to win. Come on, boys. Let's hashtag it. Good morning, guys. It is game day. Off to get some breakfast. See the lads. In a few hours, we're kicking off. Probably the biggest game in hashtag United's history. Let's go. We ready, boys? You ready for action today? So ready. Never mind about the toast. I'm good to go. Game day. I don't mind this breakfast either, to be fair. It looks pretty good. Right, just having some breakfast. Bang. Here's an update on the Andy Jeff Watson and Tom Jepson situation. The good news is they are going to make it. They actually had to fly to Zagreb in Croatia. And they were picked up by someone from Nordius. And they drove for four hours. They got here at 4 a.m. It's now about 7.30 a.m. So they couldn't have had a lot of sleep. I think they're still sleeping right now. We're leaving in about an hour. Actually, about half an hour. So, Nash, you're rooming with, with TJ. What sort of spirits is he in? Yeah. I mean, I don't know at the moment. He was sleeping like a baby when I came down for breakfast. I thought I'd better leave him to like it. A baby tarantula. A baby tarantula, <laughs> yeah, in their uh, nest. So he was all he was all curled up in his web. But, um, yeah, I mean, he, was, he wasn't having any night terrors. So that was a plus. Hopefully that means he's, uh, you know, in good spirits. Good. All right, sweet. And hopefully we've got a goalkeeper as well. And Andy's here. I think Andy's shared with Phil. And Phil's not down yet either, so... We'll catch up with you in a minute. Here they are. You made it. Made it. Made it. Welcome. Welcome. How are you? Very good. Very good. Feeling good? Feeling rested? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, actually, yeah, very much. Yeah. Oh, very good. comfortable bed in the now, in my opinion. You say this is very comfortable. Did you, sleep you sleep in the car, did you? Oh, I've got that. Oh, well, well, yeah. Yeah. oh God, yeah. yeah. Conversation is full. Yeah. Yeah. We're starting to hate each other. <laughs> well done, boys. Yeah. Who's ready for action, boys? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ready. Oh, what tune as well! <laughs> Woke up this morning feeling fine! Hashtag United is on my mind! Steve's got us playing the way that I know he would! Oh yeah! Something tells me I'm in something good! Song. Oh, oh, song. Oh, oh, um, I saw that as well. Let me see your song. Let me see your song. Sing it right now. Do it. Give me a song. Sing it. I can't remember the lyrics in this one. Yes, you do. Don't lie. Everyone knows. As I walk. Right, the stadium that we're playing in is on top of a shopping centre. Oh my god. There's a car park here. And then up here, look how high that is, and we're on we are on top of that. It's crazy. I don't know if this is doing it any justice, but look how high that is. All shopping centre here, car park here, and we are playing up there. Let's go. just got onto the pitch and bloody hell we have a habit of playing on unbelievable pitches and I think rumour has it this holds around about 5,000 I'd say this is perfect for the boys to uh, utilise the uh, the pitch because the rain's coming down a little bit not too heavy let's go and see what the guys think of the pitch what do you think this Dan? Mate, amazing it's quality mate, what, what's yeah. going on with all the pitches we're playing on lately mate, unbelievable some, some the pitch has been unreal we're on a bloody roof, mate. How, how many does this feel? How many Ryan is it? For, maybe like 5,000? Something like that. Mate, amazing. Crazy. I think it's just weird that, that we're actually on a roof. I know. I and there's know. like shops it downstairs. It doesn't feel like, from where you're standing now, it doesn't feel like it doesn't, you're on does a roof. It? It's a bit... When you see it from the actual video yeah. and stuff, it's crazy. But yeah, just standing here, it's... Uh, I don't mate. think Saundi's got his drone. He would have loved his drone here. Oh, mate, could have flown right above <laughs> Literally. it. Literally. unbelievable. Just seen Theo upstairs. 
I'm not gonna see if I can get a cheeky vantage point as well. Right, I don't think this is gonna do any justice. I don't think you'll be able to make it out, but this is super, super, super steep. And we are so high. Did someone order a changing room with a side of view? Look at that. Wow. Now this is a joke. Absolute views on toast. Serbia has really surprised me. I'm impressed. Massively impressed. Look at these by the way, and that is what you call a double decent dugout boys. Hopefully we'll be able to see a uh, hashtag united promotion today. Go out and, and enjoy tonight and go home feeling fresh and ready for division one. Someone's already jumped on the drone band so already, look. Love that. Right guys, game over here in Serbia. You have to wait to see the full video on my channel to find out what happens, but all I can say is lots of goals, quality match. Right, we're back at Belgrade Airport now, about to go back to London. Before we finish, I want to say a massive thanks to all the guys at Top 11 for taking us out to Serbia. It's been unbelievable. I uh, love working with the Top 11 guys. They're such good guys, and it was a fantastic once in a lifetime experience. Of course, drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and Man's Dog will tell you, hashtag it, lovely.